Hi, welcome to Question and Answer with Megan. This edition is about finding God in the tough times. So, we have our first question, which is, amidst the pandemic, violence in the news and in our communities, and all the continued disrespect and strife amongst people, where can we find God? Great question, and I think a lot of people are asking this same exact question right now because there's a lot going on, it's true. First of all, I just want to say that it is totally normal and totally fine to not be able to right away find God throughout all the madness and the chaos, the confusion, the hurts, the pain, the struggle. I mean, we're going through a lot right now. Everyone is. So my advice for now is to just first be gentle with yourself and just settle in with exactly what you're feeling and know that it's okay and that it's normal. So don't be too hard on yourself at this time. Another thing I would say though is that honestly, we can find God through all of this, through everything that's going on. Why? Because God is truly present in all of this. For some reason, this is happening. We don't know all the answers at this time. We don't know what God's perfect and loving plan is exactly, but we can trust that God is truly in the midst of this and is with us through everything we're going through. So remember that God is in the struggle and the suffering. God is experiencing these things with us. God is mourning with us, crying with us, and feeling our pain as we are experiencing it. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that God is also in the other things in life, in the things that truly bring us joy and energy and love. So let us look to those things as well. Let us remember God in the things that bring us life and happiness because there, those things exist and there is actually a lot for us to be grateful for. So let's remember to experience gratitude just think about these things every once in a while that bring you happiness and experience those things as much as possible. So, yes, God wants to make us aware, I believe, of this contrast between what makes us suffer and what brings us life and joy. So once we are better able to identify the contrast, and able to experience this really mysterious dichotomy of ways of life, then we can choose. We can choose what we want to focus on. We can choose what we want to fight for. We can decide for ourselves what kind of world we want to live in. So I invite you to experience these difficult times that we're living in as somewhat of an opportunity, of an invitation to learn and to know that we don't have to stay in discouragement and despair, that there is a light, that there is a way out, and that through the glimpses of love and peace and joy that God is giving to us amidst the struggle, we can latch on and we can find hope and we can keep working towards a better world so that we don't have to stay where we are. Yes, we have experienced a lot so far and let this be a motivation for us so that we can truly take it and shape it into something more beautiful that we can bring into our present and our future. So don't give up hope. God is present in all of it. Okay, we will move on to the second question. How do I know if God is actually present in my struggles? What can I do to have stronger conviction in God's presence and love for me? That's beautiful. And I will say again, it is totally okay if you do not feel God in this time, if you do not sense God's presence. That is fine. That does not mean that God does not exist or that God is not with you. 
I will say that extremely holy, if you will, saintly, mystical people who have lived in this world have also said that through some of their darkest moments and struggles, they have not been able to sense God. The thing that makes these people, though, convicted of God's presence is something that is very mysterious, and that is their faith. Their faith and their trust that regardless of what they sense, of what they feel, what they can see or hear, what they can experience tangibly, regardless of all of that, they just have a trust that somewhere God is there and is present and still loves them. And I want to say that this conviction, this trust, isn't always the predominant feeling or experience and isn't always making their time through the struggle easy. I'm not saying it's easy. I want to emphasize that this trust just helps them to persist, to persevere. And slowly but surely, the light within will grow stronger, will enlighten people's way, your way, my way, so that over time we will truly deepen our understanding and our trust, our conviction that God is with us through our struggle. We don't have to expect that it is going to come right away, that this realization is going to be super immediate and natural. So again, let's not be hard on ourselves if we don't sense God all the time. There is a lot of mystery to this question because truly our souls, our minds, and our bodies are all so intertwined, connected, working together. and. Let's just take this process slow, but let some part of you hold on to that trust that, that God is present and just allow yourself, even if you don't truly feel it, to somehow accept and to work towards a greater deepening of your awareness and conviction that God loves you no matter what you're going through and will continue to love you and be with you through whatever you're going through and is experiencing everything with you. So again, just stuff like this really takes time and I encourage you to just be intentional about your journey that you're on and to never lose hope. I think that's what God desires for us to just keep trying whatever works for you and again if you if you have any insights or questions or experiences that you want to share about this feel free to reach out so we'll go on to our last question how do you think God is inviting me to respond to difficult times such as these Okay, so amazing question, open question. How is God asking you and me and all of us to respond? What are we supposed to do truly? Well, I think that this question is a personal one and the answer really depends on who you are and what you believe God is really calling you to right now. I believe that this is truly a personal opportunity and invitation to each one of us and that we have our freedom to decide how we want to move forward. I also want to say though that I believe that God is inviting us to do whatever it takes for us to grow in deeper, more expansive love for God, for ourselves, and for other people. So whatever that means to you, I would say try to be a little bit more intentional about that. As we've talked about now through these questions, we, we know pretty clearly the contrast between what is wrong 
and what is right and good. So you have a choice to work towards bringing the world closer to experiencing reality most fully in one of these ways. Why don't we all work towards making the world a better place that is full of what is good, what is right, what is beautiful and what is loving, what is true. You have a choice. God is giving you this opportunity. So think about it a little bit if you want. Take some time, meditate on it as you go for a walk, as you hang out with your friends. Let life give you the answers as you are living it. Because God, as we have said, is present in all of it. And God is continuing to give you the messages that you need to hear in this moment. So just be open. Be open to it and I invite you to recognize every moment as truly a personal invitation from God to deepen your understanding of and experience of love. I believe that love is what sets my soul on fire with passion and joy and I believe that that might be the same for you. So let's work towards that. Let's understand even more that God is love and that God is giving God's self to us in every moment so that we experience more love and so that we can bring more love to the world. Thank you so much for tuning in and again send your questions in whenever you want and I will see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless.